to the madness. It is Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. The day before Easter. So, what's been going on? A lot's been going on. Um, I'm gonna say, what's going on today? Like, Shailene. Um, blah, blah. let's see. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of stitching, but if I do get time stitching, I'm stitching on um, Winter Snow Fun? I think that's what it's called. By Shannon Christine. Um, I will finish it either tonight or tomorrow. It looks like I don't have to work Easter, so yay. Um, yeah. So I've taken some time and I've reflected on some things and made some decisions. Um, I was really going back and forth on getting rid of the vlog because I feel like my channel's not growing because of the vlog. But there's so many people that love the vlog and when have I really been a numbers person? I mean, I would like to get to a thousand one of these days. But, in, I think it's April 19th. I'll be doing this for five years. And it's just, just a little uh, aggravating that I haven't hit a thousand yet. I have made one decision. I have quit Whip Warriors. First of all, the main group, it is very annoying and I cannot stand it when a group puts everyone. So you all get notifications for that group. I don't play anything in the, what the hell's going on? Whip Warrior part of the game. I was doing road trip. So I don't care about your categories and all your other crap. That's annoying. And there's so, oh, there's a bad accident. Remind me not to come back this way. Um, yeah, they have that whole lane cut off. Um, oh, a car's turned around. Yeah, not good. Um, don't put everyone. And I will get rid of another group if they don't stop doing everyone. I hate it so much. Take exit 223 on the right. But anyways. Um, you don't need to spam your members. They can come to your group and walk the look. Um, but. I don't know. I just wasn't feeling road trip. And the main reason. Sure, I loved all of the things to do and pushing you to stitch. But I'm a stickler about deadlines. And if you set a deadline, keep the deadline. Because it is not fair that someone else, a, a small portion too, it's not like half of the people are finished. It's a small portion of people and so then it's it feels like you're being rushed. It's like, wait, no, we had till the end of the month to finish this. And then it's like, oh, you better hurry up. It's like there's 13 more days. I plan out my stitching. Some weeks are heavier, some weeks are lighter. So, I got sick of that. And then it's always the same people that, it feels like it's always the same people that get called out and stuff for doing good. It's like, really? Okay. So, I heard last year was so much better and this year it is just like bleh. So, I stopped doing that. has been going on. Um, oh, we think
Johnny's meds are messing with him. So, we took him off of everything except for his blood pressure, his metformin. So, this is what happened. And he's been like this for about two weeks. And I think it started like Monday. He's having a hard time breathing too. Not like, he's just getting um, winded. It's not like when he's sitting down, you know, he's like wheezing like I do when I'm just sitting there. Take the first left. So, Wednesday night, he just took his, um, why do I feel like this is not right? Okay, there we go. Um, he just took his heartburn, heartburn, no, not heartburn, blood pressure and metformin. And when he woke up Thursday, he felt amazing. And then Thursday night, he took all of his meds. And yesterday, oh, I swear to God, he was like... On the left. How do you say it? He wasn't like gray-gray, but he was like... He did not look good at all. He was... It was hard for him to breathe. And he was slumped over. When he would walk, he'd be like... Picture an old man with a cane slumped over walking. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, so I was really worried about him. I was so worried about him. I called Becca. I could not do the whole day yesterday by myself. There was no way. So I called Becca. I said, Becca, can you please go with your father and be his runner? I said, he can't breathe. And she was like, yeah, sure. She had the day off yesterday. So she said, yeah, sure. No problem. I'm like, I know it's your day off. And I hate asking you on your day. She's like, don't worry about it. I'm like, okay. So, um, we get home. And right away, um, hold on, I got to figure out where we're going. Um, John goes to take some, tries to go to take some nap. Then, um. I'm sitting there. I haven't even been on Zoom with the girls all week because it's just, a, that's how crazy work is. And I, this is what I've been doing. I've been going to work, coming home. I would stitch for about an hour. Then I would take a nap, wake up about seven o'clock, sometimes eight o'clock, eat dinner, Stitch for a good three hours, go to bed, and start the day all over again. I wasn't getting home till like four or five o'clock. One day I got home at three o'clock, which I was like shocked. But anywho, so I really don't want to go to Connors. Okay, I just need to get over to Jefferson because I'm not going. I don't even know why they didn't turn. There wasn't traffic coming. We need to get over to Jefferson. Even more now. Get away from these psychos. I think Yorkshire takes it all the way down. So, oh my god, just finished the story already. Um, so. I like to stitch TMI in my t-shirt. It's usually a longer t-shirt with no pants on. I have a blanket over me. So I'm sitting there and I'm stitching and I look. Now I'm I have two brother-in-laws who are plumbers and one is called triple a plumbing and then the other one I don't remember what it is so Continue I see a van pull up a mile to the end of the 
street. And I'm like, now mind you, I'm reading, I'm trying to read this through the surveillance. I should have, now that I just thought about it, I should have brought up the ring and I could have zoomed in. I'm like, does that say AAA plumbing? And so his brother gets out, starts walking up my driveway and I'm like, that's Steve. And I'm like, I said to the girls, I said, um, my brother-in-law is here. And they're like, okay. And I'm like, I have no pants on. And I ran and got pants. And by the time I got pants and came, because my dressers are in the back room in the train room. There's no room in my bedroom. So all of our dressers are in the train room. So by the time I went all the way back to the train room and got all the way back to the door, he was just ringing the doorbell. So I opened the door. I said, go ahead, you know, sit. I cleared him a spot. Sit here, David. Went and got John like, your brother's here. He's like, what? He said, tell him I'm going to be right out. I'm like, he can hear you. <laughs> so he just came over to visit. He was in the area. He was doing a job like two streets over and he thought, mm, you know, just stop in and say hi, which was cool. So then John went back and he slept for a good three hours. And he gets up and dinner's almost done. And he goes outside. Turn right and the stop sign. So him and the guy across the street are going to cut off, cut down my neighbor's crab apple tree. It's half dead. And all it does is just make a mess and then the kids like to throw the cat the crab apples all over the place there's bees all over and it's just a mess and both neighbors that have to deal with the crab apple tree are like please take it down for us so I told John I said Monday would be the perfect day for you guys to do this because it's 51 degrees it is 46 degrees out when he goes outside. I'm like, what are you doing? And I see him and he starts walking because we're keeping all the wood because we like to smoke. And apple wood is one of our favorite ones to smoke. So, um, I'm watching and they bring two limbs back to my house and John gets the cutters to take off the small limbs and we're using every part of this tree the small ones we're going to cut up real fine for the electric smoker so I'm watching and he goes back over to the tree and I'm like okay, I'm going to give him five minutes this is what I'm thinking in my head right he's not coming back and then he comes back and he's slumped over more and I can tell he's not doing good so he comes and he sits on my porch there's chairs he comes and sits on the chairs and then he starts to go back over there I'm like oh no nope this ain't happening so I go over there and I said, why don't you... Oh, John had come in at one point. I said, why aren't, are you guys trying to do it tonight? It's cold out there. Just do it Monday. You have the day off. And hopefully you're feeling better. And he's like, he's determined to do it today. I'm like, mm-mm. So John left out. And then when he was gone for about, I don't know, five, ten minutes again... I, would, I went over there and I said, listen, this is ridiculous. And Scott doesn't like me. He doesn't like any woman. This is the man when me and my daughter brought home our lawnmower and thought we could build a lawnmower in privacy in our front lawn, he came over and told us that we needed to wait for my husband to get home. <laughs> um tiny puffer fish puffered 
She was like, excuse me? I built things in this house. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I forgot, I forgot. You guys are strong women. It's like, no one asked you to come over here and put your fucking two cents in. So, <laughs> whenever I speak, I speak too loud for him. And he, he holds his ears and he's like, oh, yeah, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. She's getting loud, she's getting loud. It's like, fuck off. You're on my property. No, no. So... I went over there. I'm like, Scott, he is sick as a dog. Why can't this wait until Monday? He goes, it's warm today. It's not going to be warm then. I was like, okay, you know what? Bet. Came home, got my freaking phone. I said, it is, it was like 46, 43. I don't remember what it was. I think it was 46. It was going to get down to 43. I said, it's 46 degrees out here now. On Monday, it's supposed to be 51 degrees. Can you do math? <laughs> and he's like, I told him he could just go home. He can just go home. I said, Scott, if he's out here because you're doing this, he's going to be, if you're out here doing this, he's going to be out there because he doesn't want to leave you alone to do it. He said he would help you, but you're too stubborn to wait until... Monday when he has the day off and he'll be feeling better. Sky just kept going, just go home, just go home. And John's just like, look at him like, dude, I can't. So, <laughs> about a couple of minutes later, here comes Scott and John and they're sitting on my patio. And Scott's waving his hands and you can hear John say, no, she's not mad at you. No, she's not mad at you. Because she's just concerned about me. <laughs> so finally they decided not to do it. And I just talked to John before I started recording. And John's like, the funny thing is, is he was going to try to do it today by himself. But it's too cold and rainy for him. <laughs> Like he's just an idiot. Why doesn't he just wait till Monday when it's supposed to be nice? And who knows? It could even be warmer. Or it could be colder, but... <laughs> yeah, so, anyways. Finally got his butt in the house. Then we started watching Traders Australia, the second season. And... And then we went to bed. And then this morning we woke up. And John always wakes up first. And he took his shower. And when I was getting ready to go in the shower, he was already dressed. And he was going to go out and start the cars. Because I take a very quick shower. And he goes, so how do I look today? I'm like, you got your color back and you look good. I said, how are you feeling? He goes, I feel amazing. I said, yeah, you're not slumped over. And he came from the back of, he came from the train room. And I'm like, and you're not um, short of breath. He's like, yeah, it's got to be some of those meds or one of those meds. So we're going to give it like two days and then we're going to start introducing um, a medication at the, at a time, you know, one at a time. So, that's what's been going on in my life. I yelled at him though. I said, you can't just stop taking your bipolar medicine. And I looked it up and it said the one that he's on, um, if you stop it abruptly, it may cause seizures. He's like, oh shit. I'm like, yeah. I said, sometimes there's a lot of those medications that it will put you in a deeper depression. I said, and you've been on that one for many years. I wouldn't stop doing that one. So it was good that he woke up and was feeling, um, oh no, I'm not going to this one that I 
that you can't park anywhere. Uh, I bet you I am. Um, so I'm glad that the three medications that are very important he felt good on. That's the best way I can explain it. Yeah, so I'm going to try to do a floss tube Monday. I really just need to do it. tomorrow I don't know sometime this week I have to finish up the task the taxes arriving at 8347 Jefferson on the right 83 47 it's right there huh okay we're gonna go around the block I was going to say we could turn around, but no, I need to get the... Whoop! Ah! Didn't realize that was a speed bump. Crap. Okay, so I think this one will take us to it. Okay, I guess I'm just going to get off of here now. Oh my God, I've been talking forever. Well, I had a lot to tell. Not really, but that was all basically yesterday is what I talked about. So, okay, I'm getting off of here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hi, Hello. guys. It is Monday, Monday, Monday. I got to figure out how to get out of here. I forgot how to get out of here. Um, I'm in Gross Point. Yay. No, yay. But at least I'm getting it done. Oh, let's just go this way. Um done and out of the way early hopefully no more come over Continue but one you know mile to the that'd be life street. if it does right. okay so I did a clip Saturday so when I got home from work on Saturday Turn right which traffic light. um I thought I was only gonna have to do one run I did a very big run so I thought okay I'm only gonna have to do one run and John thought so too because after we both tripped out, there was only two left on the screen. Well, <laughs> um, so I had to get Becca for work. And then, oh, that's right. Okay, so I did all of my selves and then I got picked up Becca because she had to go to work. But we were like, I was like 45 minutes early than when we would normally leave the house. I'm like, we're going to go run these Frasers real fast. Well, we did the Frasers, which were right next to each other, basically, one street away. Sorry, I got the jokes. So, um, we still had like. I don't know 20 minutes it was like crazy before we would even leave the house so when she has to go to work we leave the house at um like if she works at 1 then we leave at 12 35 and then she gets there at 12 47 so um I said well you know what? They're busy at work. Why don't we just stop by and we'll just do our trip completions? Because usually if I'm not going back to the shop, I would just call. Well, good thing I went back to the shop because there were 12 other orders. I'm like, oh my God. I said, there's no way that I can't, you know, not help him. So, because it was like almost one o'clock, you know. So, I took more south, took Becca to work, and then, um, he 
was at the shop. So I didn't take one of myself, which was Frasier. Um, and why did I have my own? So left on Frenier Road. I told him, I said, I'm going to go deliver a couple of these. We were meeting to meeting at Myers. So, um, John's birthday is Wednesday. So we wanted to do his tags real fast before we forgot, you know. So um, we had planned on Saturday, there was two places we could stop and get his tags. And, um, well, first I only thought there was one and then I was like, you know, let me just Google it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, there's one at Myers, like, it's one mile away, exactly one mile away from my work. The other one is five miles away from my work, but it's in John's area. But that means I would have to go out of my way. So I told him, I said, listen, you go to the shop. By then, I said, I, and I left you a Frasier. Um, I said it wasn't done or I would have taken it. And um, he said, okay. I said, after you load... Then, um, my brain. Oh, there's Rosa. Okay, so, anyways, um, so, um, he calls me. He's like, Where are you at? I'm like, I'm heading to Myers now. And he's like, Okay, I'm leaving the shop and I'm heading to Myers. I said, Okay, so now it's probably about. 1.30. I said, okay, what was left at the shop? And he's like, another Roseville just came over. I'm like, okay, I'll go back. After we're done with this, I'll go back and get the Roseville. So, it just worked out perfectly. By the time we were done doing his tags, I showed up to the shop and there was like six minutes left before two o'clock. We caught off at two o'clock. So, um, I just, by the time I loaded and tripped and all that, it was two o'clock. I said, okay, it's officially over. I am leaving. I am not coming back. And they're like, yeah, we've heard that one before because two times. That day, I'm like, okay, bye, guys. Have a happy Easter. I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> They're like, mm-hmm, we'll see it when we believe it. I'm like, believe it. So, got home probably about, oh, because I had to go back out to Gross Point again. So, I got home. It was like 3.45, I want to say. And not too long after John showed up, I'm like, so are you going to go take a nap? And he's like, um, no. And I looked at the clock and I said, oh God, no. You just basically put your head on the pillow and then you have to go get Becca. She's, he's like, yeah, today is just messed up. I'm like, yeah, it is. So, um. I was determined not to take a nap. Oh, I got to turn here. So, I started cross-stitching. And I had, I don't remember how many stitches. It was under a thousand. I want to say it was 600 or 700 stitches that I had left to do on Winter Snow Fun. So, go. Um, sorry, I hate that turn right there. So, um, I finished it. Oh, my God, I finished it. And then I started doing some stitches on Easter Gnome, Easter Boy Gnome. 
and I just wasn't feeling it. And I'm like, why am I stitching this? I'm not into Easter big time at all. But I love the spring part of it. But do I need to know who's dressed in it looks like a robe with bunny slippers holding a bunny? And it's very like um Oh shoot. Turn right Okay, I messed up. Okay. Um it's very like even the mock-up looks like crap. And I was like, you know what? I'm just not feeling this. It's really big. There's no reason to have a gnome that big. Really? And I was like, I'm not doing it. And they're like, and I'm not going to do Easter girl gnome. So, spoiler. Well, no, because... You'll have already seen the floss tube that I'm making today. I UFO'd both of them. Because, yeah, I'm not going to... What I keep telling myself when I find these projects that I'm like, why? Now, mind you, I do stitch on them first. Mailbox, I already knew. I knew what a pain it was. I knew I would never enjoy it. When I put the hundred stitches in that I did, I was like, Why? No, uh-uh. And then every time I picked it up, I was like, no. So, but I did put 200 stitches into Easter Boy. <laughs> Easter Gnome Boy. Easter Boy Gnome. Whatever. Um, And I was just like, no, this isn't making me happy. It's muted colors, too. And you know me and muted colors. And there are so many Easter ones that I have that I haven't started so, how did I even do this? This is crazy. Um, Turn left at the stop sign. Yeah, so, I don't know. Um, I'm like really, I just confused myself big time. I had to go pick up this package because I delivered to the wrong house. And I don't know. I delivered here Saturday. So, I must have punched that one. At least she was very nice about it. The thing that happened is, is I delivered to her Saturday. And, go ahead. Um, I didn't clear my GPS. And when I was programming, I must have skipped the gross point. And then when I looked in the GPS... It said gross point and I didn't double verify, which I usually do. So yeah, that's how I screwed that up. So anyways, that was Saturday night. Um, so then Sunday, or s Sunday, everything's like going, mixing up now. What did I, oh yes, okay, so Sunday, Oh, uh, you have a stop sign. Um, I started right at the stop sign. Merry Christmas. And the fabric, I just wasn't feeling the fabric. So, of course, I had to take it out of the hoop and put it in a nerge. Because the nerge with Picture This Plus can get it really tight and firm. Which the... Okay, 466. Which the hoop doesn't. So I put it in the nerge and it just wasn't moving as fast as I wanted it to. I did put in 400 stitches, maybe 600 stitches. There is a live bird in that reef. Can you see it? Do you see the bird in the reef? There's multiple birds in the reef. Oh my God, that was... Okay, so... Sorry, I know this one's going to be a very clippy... Um... Day. <laughs> so, anyways... So I did... 
I want to say it was four. Mm, excuse me, 400 stitches. And I just couldn't get a flow. And I'm like, mm mm. And we were really pushing, well, I was really pushing yesterday. So was um, Jen. And I mean, the other girls probably had Easter plans or something, you know. I'm not saying, oh, they didn't hope. Just saying. I wanted to get a lot of stitches in because I knew I wasn't going to be able to get in a lot today. And it ends tonight. So, um, I wanted to get a project that would actually get more stitches in faster. So, I went to um, Black Vintage. And I did 500? Yes. Yes, because Saturday I did 900 stitches and yesterday I did 900 stitches. I'm like, oh, that's just strange. Because I never usually do that many stitches at the same time. You know, it was just weird. So, oh, bump, bump. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, so that's basically what I did last night. Oh my God. We smoked a ham. Well, we smoked two hams. So Kroger's had hams on sale big time. Um, they call it the butt ham. It's the ham that's not spiral, but it has the, it looks like a hunk, a hunk of meat with a bone in the middle. Um, So I got one of those that wasn't Spiral and the other one that was Spiral and it was the same company. I wanted to make sure that I got two of the same company and I wanted to do a Spiral and then I wanted to do a butt. So me and John um, put honey, brown sugar, cloves, and pineapple juice. Um, out of the ham and then on um, both of them and then we put them in the smoker we started at 250 but it was kind of a chilly day yesterday so after an hour we bumped it up to 275 and every half an hour he would go out there and um, baste the ham now, usually he just spritz with apple juice or pineapple juice or whatever, orange juice. But because we actually, um, oh, we put them in a metal pan, you know, one of those throwaway tinfoil pans. Um, because they suggest doing that so it didn't dry out through the bottom. So we did that so then you know the brown sugar all that mixture was at the bottom so he just took a turkey baster and was just basting the ham every half an hour oh my god so the reason that we wanted to do both hands is because I love a spiral ham how easy it is to cut and serve but I've tried all different ways and I think I said this on Saturday all different ways. I've tried crock pot. I've tried instapot. I've tried oven. Three different ways in the oven. Tin foil, no tin foil. It's just the spiral ham always seemed to be dried out. I would do it exactly how the package would say. It. Still a dried out spiral ham. And I'm like, why do people have these beautiful hams? What am I doing wrong? Well, we've we've learned. We are going to, and from now on, whenever, we are going to smoke our hands because we enjoyed that so much. It was so flavorful, and it was just mind-blowing. And the funny thing is, is after we were all done eating, we're usually, you know, well, me and Becca are usually the potato people, you know. Um, we need our pasta and our potatoes for our side. I hardly ate any of, um, people call them funeral 
potatoes. It's where you take the hash browns and the butter and the cheese and the sour cream and the um what else is it? Chicken soup. You just put it in there and it's so yummy, gummy. Oh, it's so good. But um she's still sitting there. I'm so glad I went around her. I hate dumb people. I really hate dumb people. Two cars could have went through that light. And it was flashing red, so whatever. Okay, not gonna road rage. After we were done eating, or no, I think it was this morning John said it, but we were all like, oh my God, it's so good. I can't eat no more, I can't eat no more. Um, This morning, I get out of the shower and John's sitting there in the living room and he's like can you believe it I still when I because he just let out Toby it still smells like we're smoking something out there and I'm like yeah I can believe it I said I just got out of the shower I swear the smoke is pouring through my veins I could smell it it was probably in my hair, you know? But it was just, it was hilarious. Um, he goes, let me tell you something. I have never ate so much ham at one setting. I said, you? I said, John, did you even notice? I didn't eat my potatoes. <laughs> He's like, it was so good. I'm like, we're gonna do it from now on. So sometime this week, we're going to see we have a, what is it called? We have a corned beef, the point. We only get the point. The flat, no, 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 no. We only get the peat because that's very tender. We're gonna try that in there. He goes, oh my God, that's gonna be amazing. I said, well, if the ham came out so good, I don't see how we could go wrong with the damn corned beef. So I told him to, you know, keep the pineapple juice because it was already in the sprayer because we didn't use it because we were basting this time. And, um, God, what was I going to say? Um, oh, I said, and shit, we could try a roast on there. I have a cup, not cup, um, God. A chuck roast. I said, I want to try the chuck roast on there because it's simple. It is so simple. All you do is you just put these wood chips in this like fire box, but it's like, all it is is just this little box with a lid and you put water in this other container and he always puts rosemary in it. And then you just start it and it just, you just gotta make sure that you tuck the wood chips and keep those, you know, fresh because there was one time we, he went out there, I'm like, he goes, oh shit, we don't have any wood chips in here. So they were like, they weren't smoking as much. So yeah, it's so easy. Unlike the charcoal one, where you have to keep maintaining the hot box, you can't control the temperature, and it's a struggle to, even on a hot day, it's a struggle to keep the hot box, the smoker, at 250 degrees. So, I told them, I said, you know what, from now on, I just want you to use the electric smoker. I said, we're gonna keep the charcoal smoker, but we're not using the hot box. Like, there's times when we do steaks and stuff where we want it on charcoal. He would just put it in the charcoal in the smoker, but as a normal like charcoal grill, not in the hot box. I said, and then you can always toss some, um, what is it called? Wood 
flavored wood in there because that's what he did one time with hamburgers last year. And I was like, oh my God, yes, we need to add the wood with the charcoal. It's perfect. So he agreed too, which I was very shocked that he agreed because usually he gets something in his mind and it's set. But I'm going to let you go because he's calling and I'll see you in the next one. Hello. It is Tuesday, Tuesday. So, yesterday was a busy day. I did 30 deliveries all by myself. But, um, I got home and filmed the floss tube and I just didn't feel like stitching. I tried. I really did. I did try. And I was like, you know what? My head was pounding. So I was like, I'm not even going to do this tonight. So I didn't stitch. Um, I was just really exhausted. Um, so much that me and John went to bed at 930 last night. I was asleep by 1030. And then I woke up at 645. And I was wide awake. I'm like, hmm. So I just sat in my chair playing my games. And then John woke up at 7.45. Or really 7.44. Um, and I greeted him like I always greet him every morning. Hey, Stinky, did you sleep good last night? He said, hell no. I'm like, what, what happened? He goes, I'm surprised you didn't wake up. And I'm like, um, okay. He said, well, someone tried stealing your car last night. I was like, are you kidding me? I said, is anything wrong? He says, nope, but our neighbor's car got stolen instead. So when John woke up at, and the thing is, they stole it at 9.40 last night. 10 minutes after we went to bed, which was crazy. So, um, John got up at one o'clock and whenever we get up now, because we're so paranoid about our cars getting stolen, we, we look at the surveillance and see, is our cars there? Do we have to make a police report? So John looked at our cars and then he looked at our neighbor is called Cat. Her name is Cat. Um, looked at Cat's driveway, and Cat's car is at the end of the driveway. But there was no car in front of it. And when we went to bed, Cat's car was at the end of the driveway, but her boyfriend's car was in the driveway. So John's like, okay, let me go look at the surveillance. Well, Thank God last year that he put up, uh, what is it called? Oh my God. A security light on the other side of my car where they broke the window and got into my car. We had nothing over there when they stole our car. So John didn't realize this until I said, well, show me the video, you know? I said, oh my God, John, your light saved my car. And he's like, what? I said, watch again. You see the light come on. It's motion detective. Turn left. So Benjamin Street. when he went to go do my car handle to see if it was unlocked, he made enough motion for the light to come on. The guy looks straight into the damn camera with the light on. But because it's night, it's night vision. So you don't get a like clear picture of the guy's face. Um, okay, hold on a sec. So, um, because the spotlight came on, they ran away from my car and they went to Kat's car. She has a Kia Soul, but hers is the newer one, which I mean, mine is a 2020. Hers is a 2024. 
but by then they knew the problem with the cars and they put higher security in it and it's now their push starts so um and another thing is when they open the door she gets a notification on her phone your car has your car door has been detected open or something like that street so she gets the alert she opens her door and they they run off right when they close the door you see them slowly walking back to the car and now you got three guys looking out while the one guy stole her boyfriend's Kia <laughs> like oh my god I mean, I, I'm like, well, what kind of cars, what car was her boyfriend's? And right when John told me it was a Kia something, I don't know what it, what it is. It's not a soul, because I know what a soul looks like. It's the more sporty car looking. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? But that's what they go after. The Kias, because we have no key fobs, no nothing. No security in our cars. So, today, I told John, I said, okay, well, I have to take Becca to work and then um, meet me at Home Depot. Oh, because he told me, he goes, yeah, and I was scared because the battery's running low on that. I said, that's a battery one? He's like, yeah. I said, uh-uh, we're going to Home Depot and we're getting um, wired ones. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so, um, I don't know what rant they're talking about. Hmm. Um, okay, yeah, so we went to Home Depot, and, oh, I can tear off my blinkers Continue now. Continue 200 feet to the um, end of the street. We were going to get a turn new left. Turn left on Little Mac Avenue. security turn light. Left. I can't think of what they're called. There's a name for it. Um, but I told myself if we get there and the ring with the lights is um, got my brain. I'm sorry. If it's under two hundred dollars, we're getting it. It was one hundred ninety nine dollars. And the funny thing is, is we were looking at the security ones, right? Just no camera. And they were only $19. And right above it was the ring. Well, we were, we needed one for the porch lights because the porch light we have is a spotlight. I think that's what it's called. It's the spotlights. Um, so whenever someone walks by, it's two lights bright. Bam. So, John goes, man, I was really hoping, I really was wishing that we had enough money to buy that. I said, well, how much is it? And he said, $199. i am like, that's what we're getting. He's like, what? I'm like, yeah. That's going where the guy, that's going right by the passenger side um, door of my car. And he's like, okay. And I'm like, I was ready for a fight with them, but no. Shit, put it on the Home Depot credit card. Who cares? At this point, who cares? I just don't need my car stolen. And, um, the security system is nice, but when it's nighttime with any security system the um infrared night vision turn right at the traffic isn't light. that good Take the ramp ahead. but with the ring cameras it's amazing so if we had it last night we would have had a crystal clear picture of the guy's face 
so I want, I want, I have my ring at my front door, and now I'm going to have the ring on the cars. Sad thing is, is my ring doorbell by the front door was never detective, detected. What up was up with that, but so I went into my ring and I um I boosted up all of the um sensitivities on motion. I don't need it on package. I mean that one always goes off. So yeah, but that was on my morning. But now I got the club. So we just have to deal with that. Left at the traffic light. But yep. Yeah. So I'm hoping to get some good stitching time in tonight. Just depends on what time I get home and all that jazz. That um floss tube was over an hour. I can't believe how long it was. But I really want to go back to making them every single week. So that's going to be my goal. Okay, guys, there's nothing else to talk about. I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. Oh, and welcome. No, it is Wednesday, Wednesday. Oh, it's already been a day. It's already been a day. Okay, so last yesterday once again I thought it was gonna be real good and I was gonna get off on time and nope one o'clock hit and this time it was only five more orders but it was far away orders so yeah that was fun um then I came home very proud of myself I haven't taken a nap all week long um, I mean, it's only been two days. Oh. Turn left. Hello! It is Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. It's Johnny's birthday. So, and he changed my windshield wipers. See how quiet they are? I am so happy. Um, thar, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I didn't stitch last night. Oh my God, yesterday was so busy at work. And then um, came home and spent, I'd say about an hour outside with John, hooking up the ring and making sure we like the, the angle and all that. And it was so cold yesterday. So by the time I got in, I was just exhausted, and I was not stitching. But I did get my two um, nurches in. I don't understand. He's going fit 61 miles per hour. It's 70. I got my two nurches in. So I put one on the American flag, and I think the other one is going on to Turtle Creek Quaker. I think that's the one I said I wanted to do. And then when I can save up a couple more bucks, I'm gonna buy a couple more. So I really want my big pieces on nurges where I don't have to constantly move them. didn't stitch Monday. I stitched Tuesday. Didn't stitch Wednesday. So one mile, turn right on East I might do um, where I work on a project for only um, 
well, depending, I don't know. It might be two hours or it might be three hours. Um, but I'm not going to give it a full three hours. I'm not going to stop the watch. I'm just going to tell Amazon. Well, okay, so you guys call yours something else. I call mine Amazon. So I'll tell Amazon to set a timer for, I'll probably do three hours. And then whenever I get stitched in that amount of time, I get stitched. Now, I should say, when the timer goes off, if it's 20 or less, then I'll stop. But if it's more than 20, then I'll get it up to its next 100. Which 100 stitches usually only takes me like 23 minutes, so... That way I can just have some stuff to show you. I guess that's what I'll do this weekend. Um, so far, fingers crossed, it looks like I'm not working Saturday. So, yay. yay. Okay, I know another slip, short clip. Um, but there's nothing else really to say. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to stitch tonight. to go in the bedroom and watch TV in there. Well, I guess I could take my um my car projects. Oops, I was supposed to turn there. Oops. Um, I could take one of my car projects in the bedroom. It's just now since he's lost so much weight it feels better when he lays down for his hernia. And then I just sit in my chair and watch TV. So that's about it. So no matter what, I have to put at least 100 stitches in today. That's my goal, 100 stitches. Would I like more? Oh yeah. And I'm not exhausted. I mean, it's not one o'clock yet. So who knows what's gonna be dumped on us. But at least John's working today, so it shouldn't be that bad if it is, if it does explode, I guess I should say. Oh, look at the baby. Did you see the baby? It's a little chilly out here. I told John, I said, you and your damn curse of your birthday. Usually it's like 70 degrees or it's colder than hell. Arriving at Just one good thing, there's no snow. On the left. So I'm not complaining, complaining. But it is pretty cold out here. And it does not look like anybody's home. Great. Okay, I'm getting off of here and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. No! Okay, it's Friday, Friday, Friday. This is gonna be the last clip. And there's really nothing to talk about. I didn't stitch anything last night. Um, it was Johnny's birthday. We had a great time together. Um, we did little errands together and we cooked together. And it was just, it was really nice. Um, yeah. Today has been a crazy day. Woke up to a flat tire. Good news is, I didn't have to pay for the fix because apparently when you buy tires at Bell Tire, if you get if you have to have them patched or plugged, they don't charge you. So, yay. I was very happy about that. Um, don't know if a lot of stitching is going to happen this weekend because I have to finish up the taxes. But something went wrong with my taxes. I think it's a simple fix, though. And then I have Jonathan's and uh, my friend at works to do. Is that all I, oh no, and then I have to do um, another person's, that's right. I thought I had three to do. So, yeah. I have to work tomorrow, it is slammed, it's crazy. 
We have to go to six different places by 10 a.m. So that's going to be fun. And I guess that's about it. I told you it was going to be short. There's nothing really to talk about. Um, so I will see you next week. Have a good weekend. Bye, guys.